Well, what's up everybody? Welcome to part two of the uh, engine swap motorcycle build. That's what I'll call it. I already did a few things. Um, the part came in the mail, so I hooked that up. I shortened the chain and uh, set some things up. So here, I'll show you. All right, so check it out. This is what I was waiting for in the mail. It's a uh, 26 tooth uh, number 41 chain sprocket, which works for the uh, 420 chain that came with the dirt bike. And I shortened the, I shortened the chain up and it fits great. Lined up the engine. Check it out. It, uh, You know, it has a little bit of slack, but uh, you know what, that's alright. That's alright for now. If it gets a little bit worse, I'll maybe take a link out or see what I can do, like a chain tensioner or something like that. Right now, I've just been putting on the, uh, the mounts, or trying to. So this one's just uh, tacked on. That's not even on there yet. And I have a, a bolt running through it, so the engine's still moving around a little bit, but uh, yeah! So they're not quite finished. If you look down there, this is how the uh, bottom mount works. Just welded this to right here. I'm gonna cut it off about right there. And uh, there's like a little bracket that I tacked on that's going through the motor with the bolt right there. If you look on the other side, there's just another bracket that I cut and I kinda rounded it out a little bit. bolts going through to the other bracket. I just need to find a way to uh, make this thing stronger so that it doesn't bend back and whatnot. And the place that I got those brackets were actually uh, originally on the dirt bike right here if you remember. They came out like that. But anyways, just uh, let me see if I can finish up these brackets and then hopefully we can get it started and maybe even drive it today. So. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so here's what the uh, mounts will look like without the uh, motor on there. This, that's just Mickey Mouse on there for right now. Uh, I think I'm gonna put a support that goes like that. And uh, I had to add that there to support the rest of this. So hopefully I can clean it up and make it look a little nicer. And. Uh, yeah, get this thing running. Flipping perfect. Alrighty, so a few more things that I gotta do here is um, I gotta make an extension for this so that I can um, have my foot down here and do it. So I'm thinking maybe something like here, connect it to the end there, and just have the same sort of setup but down here, and then I can just uh, go down, click, go down, click, you know what I mean? And then I'll, I'll actually put this in in reverse backwards so that if it comes off so that it's kind of hidden you know what I mean so it's like in there and then it'll come from so this is on backwards now and then we'll have a joint right here and a joint down here on a foot pedal and there you go Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Doesn't quite clear the engine. Okay, there we go. And then on this side, I need to uh, support the uh, muffler here. So as you can see, there's already a hole right there. So I might just weld the bolt. It goes right there. So that I can bolt it on right there. All right, well guys, I just took it out for a ride and 
everything works perfect, it's unbelievable, but it's too slow. Um, yeah, I'm gonna turn it on really quick and show you how it rides. I'm not gonna ride it on street because it's too dark now, but um, yeah, I'll show you really quick. I guess it doesn't want to start back up. Um, I think I might know why. Inside of here, there's like an idler, and the, there's a bolt in my pocket here, and this goes through the idler. And I think maybe that has something to do with it. So I might open it back up. Also, the overall picture here, um, the engine, when the bike's down, the engine's pointed up and gasoline's dripping out of the carburetor. So it's, it's at a, too much of an angle, I'm assuming. So it might be flooding the carburetor. I don't know, but uh, I mean, it was driving, it was riding fine. So I turned it off and then it wouldn't turn back on, so, so if, I, if I get it started, I'll uh, turn on the camera. Well, I got it started here. Uh, but look at, I had to put it at an angle like that, so as soon as I did that, it started right up and there's the carburetor uh, at a proper angle now. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm kind of out of ideas on what to do to, uh, to make it so that carburetor's angled properly. This is the only way I could get the engine in the frame, is to put it this way. But anyways, other than that, everything worked great when I rode it. Uh, surprisingly nothing broke. I went nicely. But, uh, yeah, do you guys have any ideas? Because I'm, I was thinking, like, cut this. I don't even want to mess with it though, but it, like cut it right there and then bend it upwards or something, I don't know, and then weld it back, but I don't think, I think that's cast. I don't know what to do. Anyways, other than that, the bike really came together. Um, I'm just going to paint it up, clean it up, uh, put that, uh, that joint by the uh, gear shifter like I was telling you about. Also, the gearing, the gearing is really terrible on this. It can go up a vertical wall. Um, so maybe put this back there and this one right here. Uh, we'll see. Uh -huh. Alrighties, well, uh, thanks for watching part two here. Uh, I'll see what you guys say in the comments if you have any recommendations or anything like that. Uh, I want to do here. Anyways, thanks for watching part two. I'll see you guys in part three. See you later.